from God, which is transformed by Christ. Otherwise, it's useless. It's not only useless. Christ says it's even poor. If you are not to apply to all, and the pastoral works you are doing in the church today, who knows? In that day, Christ could say to many people of the church today what he said in the parables of St. Matthew. Very important. The second, this is uh, the experience, uh, the story related by Henry Newman, uh, also well known by everybody. He recorded this story in that part of, 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 of the Connect. And all the priests meet every Monday to share their the pastoral services to help each other. And he said one day in that day, one priest, a young priest, told all others present his visit to a parishioner in the hospital, a dying parishioner. And he uh, related to other people what he started, how he said, etc. And all other priests contribute their reflections complementary reflection. But the end, one old priest asked him, and be surprised, you visited a parishioner who was dying, and you never mentioned the death to that parishioner. You talk of the weather, you talk of the feast in the parish, you talk all these things, but the death, you never mentioned to the dying person. And then the old priest asked, have you ever faced your own death? And the fact is that you, this, this young priest, did not dare to face his own death. Therefore, he never mentioned the death to another person. So, the interiority conditions the activity, missionary or pastoral activity, Conditions. What the apostle says, he will avoid what he does not dare to face it in his own life. He will permit the people what he has permitted him, even it is not, it should not be permitted. But he permitted other people because he permitted him. The interiority, the spiritual life conditions one's own pastoral activity and the preaching is very important. There is another thing I would like to talk is the question of the joy of knowing Christ. You cannot present an article to another person to ask them to buy if you are not happy to have it. In order to convince other people to buy your item, you need to be convinced that that is very good for you. I have a use it. It is very good. You speak it with confidence, conviction. People will feel that really that is. Otherwise, if you uh, theoretical presentation, and a person just thinking of what he has learned by heart and now he repeat. The other people cannot even feel it, cannot accept it. So it's very important for the apostles, in whatever, but those who teach that case, to be happy of knowing Christ, be happy with Christ. Discover that Christ is really the source of his happiness. We will have uh, many things to say here in this question of the being happy in Christ, but I see that the time uh, is running short, so I would like to stop here. And, uh, that is what I would like to offer you. Very simple. This is not a scholar, scholarly uh, presentation of the, of the thing, but simply so first sharing. Thank you very much.
Thank you.